Okay, you are now officially ready to begin dividing fractions. We're going to spread this out to make it nice and manageable for you. And we're going to kind of progress from these easier fraction division problems to some more, I don't want to call them complicated, but just problems that require um, a number of steps to make sure that you get them right. Okay, so what I'm going to start with here is I have you have these two fractions, right? You have one third divided by two fifths. Now going back to some of this division background knowledge that we have, one third is our dividend. That is the number that's going to be divided up. And as we figured out in the beginning of our unit, that's an odd thing to wrap your head around. But our divisor, that's telling us how to divide up the dividend. That divisor is, two fifths also kind of weird. The one thing that you're never going to want to do is set it up like any other division problem. Cause you're not going to say one third and two fifths and do that whole do middle schoolers, chew bacon, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers. This is just going to cause you a world of pain and you don't want to do that. But all kidding aside, the way that you divide fractions, is by doing something called multiplying by the reciprocal. And in the last video, we talked about the reciprocal and how that was taking a fraction and really literally turning it over on its head. And so I'm going to take you through some examples of just multiplying fractions or dividing fractions by another fraction. So have your paper and pencil ready to go. Uh, I highly recommend that you line up the problems exactly the way that I'm lining them up, which I kind of call it stacking the equal signs. And I have one third divided by two fifths, the same problem you saw on the last slide. So what I'm gonna go ahead is I need to think about one third and how I need to remember that multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, so now this right here, that division sign, I'm now going to be multiplying by the reciprocal of two fifths. And that reciprocal of two fifths is five halves. So all of a sudden it's gone from a division problem to a multiplication problem, which is definitely more manageable. So I'm going to stack my equal signs and do my next step. And I know that one times five is five and three times two is six and I have nothing to reduce. I have nothing to turn into a mixed number. So one third divided by two fifths equals five sixths. On to the next one. Right here, I have one ninth divided by one half. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna keep the one ninth exactly the way that it is. But that division sign is now going to become a multiplication operation. And I need to find the reciprocal of one half. And as we talked about before, one half and two over one is going to give me a product of one. So the reciprocal of one half is two or two over one. And getting in the habit of stacking the equal signs, I'm going to complete my multiplication, which would be one times two is two piece of cake and nine times one is nine equally a piece of cake. So one ninth divided by one half equals two ninths. On to the next one. Right here, I have four fifths divided by one tenth. Again, I'm gonna rewrite four fifths as four fifths and change that division symbol to a multiplication symbol. And that one-tenth, sorry, one child distracting me. Um, that one-tenth, the reciprocal of one-tenth is 10 over one. Stacking my equal signs, I'm going to complete my multiplication. Four times 10 is 40, and five times one is five. So stacking it again, because I know that I can create something there, because fractions are division, and five goes into 40 eight times. 
So four fifths divided by one tenth equals eight. <laughs>